Back here at home, it didn't end so well for a Frontier High School student who might have thought that they could outsmart school officials and police with an apparent hoax which led to a school lockdown on Monday. Our Dave McKinley has more about how the plot unraveled and the serious consequences that the student now faces. Unfortunately, these days, threats against schools are not uncommon. But the one that came to Frontier High School just after classes started yesterday took a turn for the unusual. It initially appeared to come from one student's school email, but when the principal and the school resource officer confronted that student... The student did not know anything about the email in question. Superintendent of Schools Richard Hughes said this raised the possibility that someone had hacked into the student email accounts to make it appear the threat was coming from another. And sure enough, a short time later, another email came in from a different student account referencing the previous threat. Again, Officer Horgan and Mr. Sherlin followed up with a student of the account and found no connection to the threat. Students were held in place inside the school, and when more threatening emails came, things escalated to a lockdown, which summoned police. But the emails kept coming. Each from different email accounts. Each email was taunting in nature, including comments as, you haven't found me yet. But whoever was sending them also seemed to know a lot about the police presence inside the building. Those provided clues that it's a student place. They know what's going on in real time. It's not somebody outside the building. It's not somebody in a different state or different location. And who may not have realized it wasn't the officers handy with firearms that they now had to worry about as much as the others who were handy with computers. They quickly realized that the emails were coming from the same IP address. They worked on the computer end of it and were able to trace an IP address to a cell phone and that led to this student who now faces a date in family court along with seven felonies and seven misdemeanors. Educators tend to look for teachable moments. This one involves a 16-year-old with their whole life ahead of them learning a very hard lesson. There's real consequences for making a very bad decision, and this was a very bad decision that will definitely impact them for not just the foreseeable future, probably long term. According to police, the student admitted to their role in the emails. They also say they cannot release their name due to Governor Cuomo's new raise the age law. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.